What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lab. Roblox Islands just dropped a sneaky new update. In short, there is a new mail system. There are totems for marble, slate, radish, pumpkins, and watermelons. The developers of Islands also gave a peek of their new game. We will take a look at all those. But before that, I would really appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and like this video to support the channel. There is an icon for information now. New players can find basic information on how to play the game here. First of all, let's take a peek of the new game. Go to the hub and you will see a countdown like the one you saw in the Godzilla event. Not much is shown about the game except this picture here and the date it will be launched and made publicly available. We have a mail system. Hmm, where do we access the mail? Okay, so you will find a mailbox near your portal in convenient location. Can we break it? Oh yes, we can. Break it and locate it somewhere more accessible. Don't worry if you lose the mailbox, you can always forge another one at the workbench. The mail is asynchronous. I can receive mails when I'm offline. I receive mails even when I break the mailbox. But it's kind of weird, I can't see mails that are sent to me right now. You can see that I have two mails. But it just says that I have no mail when I open the mailbox. I think it's a bug. The interface looks like an email. You have to input the username of the person you want to send to, just like our email address. You have the subject here and the actual message below. So send me mails, yeah? But if you want more interaction, I suggest you join my Discord server. I don't play islands every day. Link in the description below. Let's take a look at the new totems. The marble totems cost $22,000 each. The slate totem cost $30,000 each. The radish totem cost $12,500 each. The pumpkin totem cost $14,000 each. The watermelon totem cost $20,000 each. I will put a slate totem here to grow slate. And I will put a marble totem here to grow marble. Just for decoration, really. Oh, the slate and marble totems don't spawn the slates and marble like other ore totems. So you can only use an auto farm. I don't foresee myself needing a lot of slate and marbles right now, so I will just use one totem each. On to the crop totem. The crop totems all work the same. In fact, radish, pumpkin, and watermelon are very auto farm friendly and really easy to grow. They don't need washing, cooking, and they are not ingredients for a food, at least for now. So you don't need the industrial washer, industrial oven, or the food processor. This helps a lot because you won't be needing propellers and crystallized gold. Another reason to use auto farms is because these seasonal crops don't give you extra seeds when you harvest them. So just put them in an auto farm and let time do all the work while you do something else. So that's it for today's video. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to turn on that notification bell too. Bye!